for people who haven't been there, when you do go, be ready to have your mind blown. People talk about, you know, two, three, four cars wide. Well, I think there's going to be five or six cars wide. Very, very challenging. Um, good safety so the drivers can really throw caution in the wind early on. This is what we do. You know, we race in the American Le Mans Series. We hit all the best venues throughout North America. I think there's a lot of excitement that goes to going to a new circuit, especially one that's like the Circuit of the Americas. So to go there in an ALMS car for this first time will be unbelievable. I mean, the track was built for cars uh, with higher downforce, um, fast speeds, and I think that the ALMS cars will suit that very, very well. Turn one is straight uphill, so you can brake way later than you think. Uh, I mean, it's literally like 60 feet is the elevation difference from the bottom of turn one to the top, if not more. It's really wide, the track's really wide in, in a lot of spots. But that's gonna make the American Le Mans race at Coda very interesting because you're gonna have, you know, you, you know, people talk about, you know, two, three, four cars wide. Well, I think there's gonna be five or six cars wide. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. And it, turn, it turns really tight and tightens up, so they're gonna have to get it figured out before turn one. You know, it's really rare that there's ever a new racetrack for a race car driver to go and learn. This is what we do, you know, we race in the American Le Mans series, we hit all the best venues throughout North America, and there's rarely ever a new racetrack that's being built, let alone one as impressive as Circuit of the Americas. It looks like an amazing place. Haven't driven there yet, obviously saw a lot of cars race there so far, really excited about learning a new place, you know, it's something that we never really get to challenge ourselves with. We know these tracks, we could drive them blindfolded, we've done it for a long time now. It's going to be a, a great place to host and showcase the speed and capabilities of the cars in the American Le Mans series. Austin should be a challenge for us with the Porsche, but I think as a series and as a, as a race, it's going to be a great fit. I sort of see the track as a three-part scenario. You have a sort of turn one, which you have a huge climb and a very wide entry, and then it's sort of a, a very tight hairpin, and then you sort of descend back down to ground level, and, and then you have a very, very quick flowing section, which I love, which I'll call sort of that first half of the track. Then the second half of the track is pretty tight, very twisted and technical, um, and then it sort of opens back up at the end. But ultimately, it has a little bit of everything, so uh, certainly gonna have to be strong on the straights, strong in aerodynamics, but there towards the second half of the track, you have to have some good mechanical grip. So very, very challenging, um, good safety, so the drivers can really throw caution in the wind early on, but uh, it should provide some, some pretty good racing too.